Greetings once again. It's time for another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online, where I present to you a very highly recommended book. And the book this time out is The Concert Hall Killer by Jonathan Whitelaw. This is published by Harper North. It retails for $24.99, and page length is 352 pages. This is book three of the Bingo Hall Detectives. I have not read the first two, but uh, I've heard that uh, they were very popular, and uh, based on reading this one, uh, I can see why. Uh, it's a very slow-paced book. If you're looking for um, a, a mystery thriller where there's constant action and gunfights and you know people's lives in danger constantly, uh, this may not be the book for you. It is slow-paced. It's a police procedural of sorts, uh, but it also works very well. Uh, the book revolves uh, around the Lake District in the town of Penrith, and um, there is a mystery crime show that has come to film there, and all the townspeople are very, very happy. They're all excited uh, about uh, a lot of you know, famous stars coming to their area to film the show, and uh, the ladies of the, the Penrith Bingo Club are really, really excited as well, too. But um, while there is a uh, detective show being filmed, in, um, which is fiction, um, real life takes precedent over it because one of the uh, stars of the show is murdered. Uh, he's found dead. And so the question is, who killed him? And does it have anything to do with the show, with some of the people in the show? Is there jealousy or what? Now, there are uh, a few townspeople such as Amita Khatri of the Penrith Bingo Club. Uh, her and her son-in-law, Jason Brazell, uh, they take a big interest in who the killer is. Now, the police are looking into it, but they decide to become amateur detectives because they loved um, true crime TV shows, so they figure, well, maybe they can do something. So they start snooping around, uh, asking questions, and uh, almost stepping on people's toes because um, they don't really know what they're doing, but they're just f following the logic of their favorite detective shows. And uh, But soon, another member of the cast is murdered as well, too. Now the question is, is there a serial killer out there? Are the killings related? And why are these two people targeted? It's a popular show. The people who died were popular. They were part of the show itself. So uh, what's going on? So um, Amitra... Uh, Amitra and uh, uh, Jason really snoop around, but as they get closer to the truth, it appears that their lives may be in danger as well too, because the killer does not want them uh, to get to the truth, so if the killer has to kill other people, well then so be it. So uh, it's, like I said, it's a very slow paced read, which is fine. Um, you can pick up a chapter, read it, set it down, get another chapter unless you are prone to reading non-stop. Uh, so if you're looking for a book that is, like I said, slow and steady wins the race, uh, The Concert Hall Killer is definitely a killer thriller that you will enjoy. Uh, Jonathan Whitelaw uh, really has uh, created quite a popular series and uh, I look forward to what's coming up in the future because now that I've found this book uh, I will actively seek out others uh, to come. So. That's the book today. Uh, hopefully, if you do purchase it, you will let me know if you do agree with my review. So thank you very much for watching. I will be back again with another great book. Until then, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.